Handy Arts Creations. Thanks for joining me. Today I have a 10 by 20 and I'm going to do a traveling open cup. So an open cup actually travels on its own once the paint is on the canvas. But what I mean by traveling is that I'm actually going to prop the canvas up to have it travel more than what it normally would. Uh, the color, so I have a white base. I just put it on right before just to save a little time. So we have a white negative space and the colors are Payne's Gray, Steel Blue, Red, and Yellow. Oh, yikes. Prop the canvas up with this cup. start our cup here so if you're new and you don't know what an open cup is open cup pour it's when you cut the bottom of the cup so that the top is open and you pour paint through the opening so we're going to start with our paints gray all our cup I'm not sure Mm, I think we can go steel blue. Traveling as much as I had thought, but it could be that. Let's do something. another cup. I'm going to lift it up higher. And I'm going to put, now it's going too fast. <laughs> Alright, but that's fine. That's fine because it did go down where I wanted it to. So we're getting some really nice cells. I'm just going to do two. Two applications of the paint. Because I think we have enough. Let's see. Do as I wanted to apply the paint and I'm just going to like tilt it back and forth and see what kind of design we get. Well, maybe I'll tilt it, maybe I'll tilt it this way too, since it came down so fast on us. And I know that you probably can't see it right now, but I will turn it around. Get this Payne's Gray. I like, I like Payne's Gray. Like Payne's Gray is one of my favorite colors. However, I forgot that this particular brand is um, not as dark as I like it because I had thought maybe to use like black, a black, a blue, a red, and a yellow, but then I was like, I'll use Payne's Gray, but I forgot it wasn't as dark as I normally like it to be. going to be leaving negative space on the painting. Well, I leave. So it looks like. Okay. I'm going to do is I'm going to there's a couple of places that I want to just put a little more white and just kind of like um, tidy up the sides and the edges. Also torch off of camera. And then I'll bring you in for a close up. Hello, 
we're back for the close-up. I'm starting on the left-hand side and I'm going to go down. So we're at the top. I'm going to go down. So we have some really nice cells and I like the way that the colors came together. I do think that the black would have given it more contrast, but again, these colors are nice. I'm coming over now to the right bottom corner and then I'm going to go up. So I kind of feel like we've had like a couple of more cells that had popped out when I was popping the air bubbles. They came from under the paint. And I also, the other thing that I like about it is that I like the negative space that I left. So you don't always have to paint the whole canvas. You know, it's, it's nice sometimes when you leave a little negative space and you just kind of leave the painting the way that it, um, leave it in it, its original composition and not tilt it all the way. You know, it's just like a personal preference. Like sometimes this is nice. Sometimes, you know, depending on what you're doing, the composition you're looking for, you would want to cover the whole canvas. I didn't want to in this instance, but I would love to know what you think. So please leave me comments comments leave any suggestions if you would like to see anything in the future and if you haven't subscribed please subscribe and hit the notification bell so that you are notified when new videos post and until we meet again cheers to painting